The new world is rife with danger and powerful beasts of all shapes and sizes ravaging the land. Millions have answered the call, and in Monster Hunter World, you're bound to meet up with all kinds of hunters. With 14 different weapon types with unique sets of moves, it can be tough to get a read on what to expect from your fellow hunters. But that's where we come in. Hi, I'm Jacob with The Leaderboard, and today we're looking at what your Monster Hunter weapon says about you. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to join our notification squad. Now, let's head over to the canteen, eat for attack up, and get started. Great Sword. Great things come to those who wait, and no one knows this more than you charge slashing greatsword users. You are the eye of the storm, always stoic and watching, never overreaching. Others might sell you short, claiming your weapon is too slow to use properly, but you know the truth. You're only one opening away from a truly massive hit sure to cleave the monster's tail clean off. You're observant, patient, and you know every monster from the inside out, be it from rigorous research or brutal trial and error. All you need is raw power, good timing, and rock solid consistency. And maybe the 900 plus damage charge slashes that come with it. Longsword. You're someone with a passion for style who lives and dies by the rule of cool. After all, what's the point in simply doing something when you can do it with a flourish? Your endless quest for the flashy things in life drives you forward and informs your decisions, especially in your equipment loadouts. I'd hedge a bet that not much feels better than getting your spirit combos off in tight spots and hitting that red meter in new and exciting ways. If you're a veteran longsword player, you are probably giddy with excitement when they revealed its new Helmbreaker and Foresight slash attacks. Don't let your insatiable hunger for the spotlight take over, though, or your teammates will have a bonus to pick with you when your wild blade flailing knocks them to their butts instead of the monster. Sword and Shield. If you're a Sword and Shield main, chances are you're reliable, quick thinking, and practical. Often maligned as a weapon for new players that's quickly left behind once they get good, you know that only the best come back to the Sword and Shield after seeing its strengths for what they are. The game is all about preparation, and you know that this is a weapon that keeps you covered. Your item pouch is filled with essentials for every situation. Bombs, traps, powders, combination materials, all of which you can use quicker than the rest. Your knowledge of monster weaknesses is top notch, and you probably have a large collection of Swords and Shields to match. So go forth, Sword and Shield users, show your team how to hunt smarter, live longer, and get the job done like the professional you are. Dual Blades. You love to go all in all the time, slashing a monster's legs to ribbons and spinning wildly like something that escaped from Beyblade. Speed and fury are all you need and your weapon choice has it in spades. You avoid or straight up ignore incoming attacks because time spent cowering before the monster is not time being spent slashing the monster and that is simply unacceptable. You get your thrills darting around the monster and waiting to unleash a combo onto its tender meat like the butcher you are. While your high adrenaline combat tactics are effective, be careful not to lose yourself out there. Getting KO'd is the ultimate loss of slashy time, so bring yourself back from the fight to chug a potion before you lose your all-in bet. Hammer. With a hammer in your hands, you're the baron of the beatdown who excels in the most dangerous of places. As a hammer user, you're single-minded in your most valuable pursuit. Step one, take your hammer. Step two, slam it into the monster's head. The front is where the razor-sharp teeth, boiling fireballs, and venomous spit all come from, though, but they're all things that you know well and can avoid. But seriously, do keep your head and limbs away from the operational end of the device. You know exactly where to stand so you can crush a Rathian skull when it misses a fireball, and how far off you need to be to slip past a Barreth's mudslinging with a charge attack. All your work pays off well when you knock the monster out like a prize fighter, but the only thing you're focused on is setting up the next one. Like a boxer, you roll with the punches and hit back with laser-guided accuracy. You're tough, cool, and a bit of a gambler, always coming through with the big returns. Hunting Horn. You don't understand how you're so misunderstood. Everyone says you're support, but you're so much more than that. They just don't understand that you can deal better damage than the entire team and position quicker than all of them. They don't understand that your dulcet tones aren't to patch their boo-boos, but are the ultimate weapon. If you're a hunting horn player, you're no stranger to looking at things from a different angle. You thrive when tackling a challenge in a new way. So keep on blasting that horn. Lance. You're an unbreakable bulwark with a practical mind and a precise eye. Lance may be the most defensively capable weapon, but you Lance mains know it's so much more. You strike with precision from a rock-solid position, you attack quietly and are always ready with a defensive response, and after all of the dust settles, your inventory is still full of all of the healing options you brought but didn't need. Which is good, because you can hang on to them for the next hunt and then not use them there either. As a Lance user, you value practicality, which is what probably helped you stick with the Lance after picking it up. You probably can't wrap your head around why other weapon types flail around like they do or move so slowly. Show them how to hunt properly, would you? They desperately need a lesson. Gun Lance. Look, we all know why you picked the Gun Lance, all right? Explosions on explosions, bursts and bombs of all shapes and sizes. It's just so much fun. 
But you're not someone who just picked Gunlance, you stuck with the Gunlance. You find that chaining fierce stabs with explosive payloads really does work. You love the power of the Wyvern Fire. Contrary to popular belief, the Gunlance isn't just about explosions, and you know how to utilize the whole kit. You're someone who doesn't mind a bit of depth to their excitement, and you've studied the Gunlance types and how they change up your routine. Be it a full burst machine or a charged shot master, you're a pro with any one of them. Alternatively, you're a normal Lance player that wants to take a walk on the wild side, kick off your boots and just go to town. Switch Axe. It's morphin' time, Swax fans. The Switch Axe appeals to a player who's interested in nothing but raw power. Switch Axe players are relentless, bringing the pain with vicious attacks between landing stylish finishing moves. You're capable of juggling a lot of different things at once, which shows how well you maintain balance between sword and axe modes. Any Switch Axe player worth their salt knows that sword mode is where it's at and knows how to maintain it properly. You might argue occasionally with the other weapon type users over who has the coolest special attacks, but... Come on, you know it's the Switch Axe. You hunt with intensity and raw stopping power that few can match. Charge Blade. The Charge Blade is a weapon for technical masterminds, and players who master the weapon are cool under pressure, have sharp memories, and can set up truly spectacular combos. You also likely picked up the series for the first time recently, or just got back into it after a long hiatus and wanted to check out the new hotness. You're also probably someone who recognizes the good stuff when you see it, because the Charge Blade has always shot to the top of the pecking order when it comes to raw power. The only thing more satisfying to a Charge Blade player than smoothly transitioning into long combos that use both forms is seeing the huge damage numbers that rack up alongside them. You will stun your teammates with your explosive power. Insect Glaive. You Insect Glaive users are daredevils to the core, living your best lives when you're stunting through the air above teammates and monsters alike. You probably have a few things in common with Longsword and Dual Blade users, as your flair for the dramatic is what gets you excited in a hunt. What drew you to Insect Glaive over the other two, however, is that you're someone who appreciates choices and customization. The wealth of Kinsect options and Glaive element or status types get your brain working overtime to concoct super builds that let you open up a hunt. Or, I don't know, maybe you're just a huge fan of bugs. I'm not here to judge though I am judging you a little bit. Whatever the case may be, you're a stuntman at heart and you love to show off your stuff, competing against yourself and your sense of danger as you push the limits of those wild air combos. Bow. We're at the ranged weapons now, folks. Bow users have an eye for detail and are quick on their feet, enjoying the mobility and freedom that the bow offers them compared to other weapon types. You might have begun life as a melee weapon user and found your way to the bow when looking for a ranged weapon that felt somewhat familiar. If you picked bow right from the start, you're probably someone who wants to feel heroic, landing those critical hits in critical moments, saving your pinned ally with a well-placed barrage of shots. And hey, we all know you've tried to pull off some Legolas level stunts. Yeah, keep trying to shield surf like he did at Helm's Deep. The game will let you if you believe hard enough. But even after you realize you're not Legolas and the stunts don't always work, nothing feels better than saving the day with a perfectly lined up Dragon Piercer shot. Light Bowgun. Light Bowgun users are master tacticians, and nobody has as full of an item pouch as these hunters. You're someone who takes the preparation aspect of the game very seriously, maybe even more so than Sword and Shield users. Packed with combinables for every single ammo type you can muster, you're someone who goes to great lengths to utilize every advantage you have over a monster. The most checked part of the menu for you is probably your monster research pages, as you always take note of each monster's biggest weakness before a hunt. You can apply status rapid-fire elemental shots, land big hits with sustained normal and spread all informed by your extensive research. As such, you probably have a huge collection of different bow guns suited to your needs, flipping through your box like Rolodex as your team decides what they want to hunt next. You love options on options on options, and there is no better weapon for that than the light bow gun. And finally, the heavy bow gun. You looked at every other weapon type in the game and nothing compared to the damage that the Heavy Bowgun can deal. Heavy Bowgun is for powerhouses only, for players willing to trade in mobility, defense, and really safety and everything else for incredible, consistent damage. You're stone cold, ruthlessly efficient, and endlessly confident. You know exactly how many shots you can land on a monster before you have to move. This knowledge comes after getting too greedy and dying a fast death, a lesson you probably learned more times than you're willing to admit. But Heavy Bowgun is not an easy weapon for sure, so you probably used other weapons in the past and can often share info and help with newer players going through the ropes. Once again, I'm Jacob, and thanks for watching what your Monster Hunter World weapon says about you. What weapon is your main? Did we describe you well? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to click the bell icon to become part of the notification squad, and if you like getting more from your games, subscribe to the leaderboard. Your home for video game facts.